Okay, so in, in this video, I'm going to explain the solution to the type 2 questions for topic number 3, expansion and factorization of algebraic expressions. In number 1, so I gave you the expression 4D plus 2 and 3 minus 5D. Okay, so the instruction was for you to expand, expand and simplify the expression. Okay, so in class, I have showed you different ways on how to expand uh, expressions like this. So for this particular item, I'll be using the distributive law. To, to expand 4d plus 2 times 3 minus 5d. Okay, so if I have 4d plus 2 and 3 minus 5d, so multiply this two. So I could distribute, so by the distributive law, I could multiply 4d plus 2 to 3 and then 4d plus 2 to 5d. So if I will do that, so that means 3 times 4d plus 2 minus so minus so minus 5d times 4d plus 2 so take a look at how the 4d plus 2 was distributed to 3 and 5d at the same time note that the subtraction symbol or the minus sign is preserved because that's minus 5d so 3, so this is the 3 minus 5d, and then the 4d plus 2 was distributed. Okay, so after you do that, then you can do another distribution, but this time within the groups, or within groups. So 3 times 4d is 12d, 3 times 2, so that's plus 6. Okay, for, for 5d, note that it is preceded by a minus sign. So when you multiply 5d, you take it as, as negative 5d. So negative 5d times 4d will be positive 4d, uh, negative 4d squared rather. So negative 20, 20d squared, and then negative 5d times 2 is negative 10d. Okay, and then after you, you perform uh, the distributive law, you look for expressions that you can combine. So only like terms or similar terms can be combined. When you say like terms, so those with the same letters and same exponents. Because uh, like if you have a d squared, d squared is not similar to 10d because d squared has an exponent 2 and d has an exponent 1. Okay, so only 12d minus 10d can be combined as a single term and that will be negative uh, positive 2d so plus 2d, and then the 20d squared will remain as negative 20d squared, and the 6 will remain as 6. Okay, so that's the um, expanded form of 4d plus 2 times 3 minus 5d. Okay, and it is in simplest form because we were able to combine similar terms. And at the same time, note how I arranged the terms by convention, we always start with the highest exponent of the variable. So in this case, we have d squared followed by d and then the constant value. Okay, so that's how you answer or how, that's how you expand an expression. Now, in letter B, so I gave you 2x plus y times x plus 3y minus 4. So following the distributive law, we could still distribute 2x plus y to every term in the x plus 3y minus 4. So if I will do that, so that means x times 2x plus y and then 3y, see, the 3y is multiplied to 2x plus y and then minus 4 times 2x plus y. So each of the term 
of the terms in x plus 3y minus 4 will get a 2x plus y because we have distributed, we distributed d to x plus y. And then similar to letter A, we again perform another distribution within groups. So this time we start with x times 2x plus y. This is equal to 2x squared and then xy. For the second group, this is plus 6xy and then plus, so this time 3y times y, this 3y squared, and then the last. So again, take minus 4 as negative 4, so negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x, so that's minus 8x, and then negative 4y for 4 and y. Finally, look for terms that can be combined. Uh, let's check 2x squared first. 2x squared is the only x squared, so just copy 2x squared. xy and 6xy can be combined as a single term. So xy means 1xy, and then add 6 more of the xy, so this will give you 7xy. And then y squared is just 3y squared, and then x is minus 8x, and then for y, it's minus 4y. Okay, so that's the expanded form of 2x plus y times x plus 3y minus 4. Okay, so if just in case um, your expression is not in this order, but all the terms that we need are present, then I can consider that as correct. Okay, but try to arrange your terms in... Uh, descending order in terms of exponents. So we could start with 2x squared. Now xy, that can still be considered as in order to because x has a 1 and y has a 1 and then followed by y squared and then x and the y. Okay? Uh, let's get one more letter C. Okay, so in letter C, the given was 3m plus 1, and then 2 minus 4m, and then plus 5m minus 1, and then 2m minus 7. Okay, so what is the solution to this? First, you have to look at the given expression, and you have to see it as uh, it's a group of, uh, it's an expression with two groups. The first group and the second group. Now, following the order of operations, multiplication should happen before addition. So, since 3m plus 1 is multiplied to 2 minus 4m, and 5m minus 1 is multiplied to 2m minus 7, so you have to perform those multiplication first before you add whatever is there that you can add. Okay? So, so we, when we multiply 3m plus 1 and 2 minus 4m, uh, we could use different methods, okay? So I have used the distributive law in expanding uh, expressions. So this time I would like to take this letter C uh, to show you how to apply the, the FOIL method in expanding uh, expressions, okay? Especially for the binomials. So for the FOIL method, if you remember, we start with multiplying the first terms. So 3m times 2 is equal to 6m. And then, so FOIL, it's, uh, so FOIL, so O means you multiply the outer terms, so that's 3M and minus 4M, so that's negative 12M squared. And then we multiply the I, the inner, that's 1 times 2, that's simply positive 2. And then we multiply the last terms, which are 1 and 4M, or minus 4M, so negative 4M, because 1 times 4M is still 4M. And then on the second group, we apply the same. We use the FOIL method. So plus 5m times 2m is 10m squared. And then outer is negative 35m. The inner is negative 2m. And then the last is positive 7. Okay, so plus... 7. Okay, so once you have all those expressions, you can now combine 
uh, like terms or similar terms. Let's start with the highest exponent, and that is 2m squared. So look at the expression and find those expressions with an m squared. So that's negative 12m and 10m squared. So if I combine negative 12m squared and 10m squared, that's negative 2m squared together. And then I'll, this time I'll, I will deal with the m's. So 6m minus 4m, that's 2m. And then minus 35, that's negative 33. And then minus 2, so that's again minus 35. So that's minus 35m. Then after the m, I have to deal with the numbers. So that's plus 2 and plus 7 together, that is plus 9. Okay, so the expanded form of the given expression is in letter C is negative 2m squared minus 35m plus 9. Okay, so I will just cover number 1, A to C in this video. So I'll, I'll make another one for the succeeding question. Okay, so that's it.